take a quick look at uh, Assyrian numbers. So as uh, an introduction, uh, we have Arabic numerals. These are the digits we use. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is in our decimal system. So there's 10 numbers. Uh, these are not the Arabic numbers. These are just referred to as Arabic numerals. Uh, all of these are separate. These are not like in the American alphabet. Uh, then you have Roman numerals. So in this case, Roman numerals, some of these, like uh, the I is maybe a symbol in the uh, Latin language, but here they're using uh, almost what looks like letters, what we would consider letters as uh, the number. So a combination of letters, like I is one, II is two, and so on. Uh, in Assyrian, most documents will either use just the Arab Arabic numerals, so one, two, three, four, five, and so on, or they'll use Alabit, Gemal, Dalat, and so on, and they'll use a combination of these. So you can see zero through nine is Alab through Tayat, and then Yud is ten. So if you want to do uh, eleven, you do Yud and Alab, and so on. Uh, and then there's different forms of these letters with different symbols. Um, like this, Alep with the line under it is 10,000, and double lines is 100,000, and so on. So here are a couple examples for 1985 to 1893. You can see it's um, Alep, it's this one, Alep with the line over it, and then. Uh, Sade, Pe, and He. And He is 5. If I go up here, you can see He is 5. So it ends, um, it, it's the 5 over here. And then 3 is Gemma, the third letter. Al Gemma. So to get to 1893, we have the Gemma. So uh, most of our books will either have um, using the Atwata, the letters, or they'll just use uh, regular numbers. Or there are some books uh, that we have uh, that have both. They'll have uh, like Alep on the right side and then one on the uh, left side and beat and then two and so on. Thank you.